Welcome back, my people of the people. My Boonskis, my fellow Boonskis. What is happening? Um, Justin came over today and he bought a leveling kit for his truck. So we just tried to put one of his 14 Ys on. <laughs> Got he! <laughs> Got he! <laughs> See what it would do. And you have like zero turning. So I think we're gonna try and put this leveling kit in. It's from Road Fury Truck Lifts. Red coil spacers. It's got some blocks for the back, came with some U-bolts. Um, drop brackets for the uh, shocks. So, I think we're gonna get started on this. I already uh, grabbed the jack stand. Put a jack stand underneath it over here. Got the jack underneath the axle. Take the wheel off and see if we can just yeah, so your, your wheel is only what? They call for, you gotta take off the track bar, take off the sway bar, sway bar links. And then you gotta take the shock and coil out. But I think I'm just gonna try and disconnect the coil, or the shock. See if it'll lower it just enough. Throw it in there, see what's up. But we're gonna try it out, see what happens. This guy always on the phone, I'm paying this guy for nothing. Unreal. You guys something else, don't ever hire him, he sucks. You guys won't believe it when we were taking this thing out we found a freaking grenade yeah check that fucker out dude it's about to blow anytime. it's live too look at them pins don't pull one of them don't do it don't do it all right what do we got going on here beans <sighs> this thing finna go in that thing finna go on top of that thing what finna make this thing up here and this thing down there you think it'll be part of the boom ski boom scoot and buggy shell hell yeah all right yeah we didn't want to go through all the you know extra work so we just went and got a spring compressor and hopefully it's yeah. gonna work you know the extra works for the birds yeah that's for the birds Shoo! alrighty boys we got it in she's in there looking all pretty kind of got some red bottoms for it now you know you got rid of the red bottoms to put red bottom on it but that's it so that's the rope they gave us shock extenders but they drilled the hole in the shock extender on an angle, so we couldn't even put it on there. So he's probably just gonna have to order some. Uh, that's what you should do instead of shock extenders. Just order some like two or three inch bill seams or something. Eventually get shocked. We're able to get the one on. Not gonna have to trim as much as we thought. Later. Alrighty, boys. Hoorah! <laughs> yeah. 
Did we get it installed? Yes. Was it fun? No. No? Did it take a long time? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so he bought lug nuts and um lug nuts weren't they weren't deep enough to get into the basically tighten the wheel all the way. So he had to go back and get more and that took a long time. So I was waiting for him at my dad's. But we got got it all in. We uh the directions I guess said take off the sway bar links, take off um the track bar. And what else did I say to take off? I think that was it, right? Yeah, shock. Yeah, the shock. But what we did is we just went and rented, uh, rented a spring compressor and just compressed the spring when the basically the truck was loaded on the suspension. And um, we just kind of, we took the shock off. We did end up taking the sway bar link off. This one we couldn't get off because the sway bar link was stuck in the bushing. Or not the sway bar link, the bolt was stuck in the bushing. So we just undid it here and dropped it down and we got it all put in. This side was not fun. This side took probably like two, three two or three hours to do. It was just a pain in the ass. Every Nothing would come off right. It looks good. It, it looks so much better with these wheels on here. Yeah, it uh, definitely lifted up the front. How, mu how much can you turn right now? About a turn, one and a half turns. One and a half turns. Um. We gotta. We still gotta put the blocks in the back. He's gonna put the block that came with it, and uh, we'll do that. We'll do that here soon, whenever we get some free time. Um, it looks good though. I like the red because you know he he likes red. That's <clears throat> what so he painted all the intercooler pipes and all the other stuff in his truck, and his last truck in Gracie. So I think that's about it. Um, we'll put a link in the description below. To where he bought it oh, yeah all right cool well you guys know the drill thanks for watching subscribe turn the bell on do your thing do your thing